Hola guys, Ofelia Moreno here coming at you guys uh, live on Peacocks United, Pavo Reales Unidos. And guys, um, I have not shared my video, so let me share my video. I am streamyarding it, so I hope that my mods can help me out and y toda la cosa, no pasa nada. Let me, um, let me share my video. going to view my channel and I'm going to share my video, share right now on Messenger. So I hope that, um, hola, hola, Mark. Thank you for being here. A lot of people do not know, so I'm just going to send it to everybody. Ah, me vale. I'm going to send it to todas, todas, todas. Vámonos. If you guys get it again, I'm sorry, I do apologize, but I'm going to share my video to everybody. Uh, uh, let me share my video, guys. <laughs> it's going, it's going. I hope you guys don't get mad if I send it again. Just ignore it. No pasa nada. Just ignore it. I am sharing my video. Yo se lo voy a compartir a todas, even though you guys are already here. Ay, me perdonan, okay, guys? I think Norma's already here. Yes, Norma, you're already here. I saw you there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it to everybody. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I'm done. Let's, el que está aquí, está aquí. El que no, ni modo. Hello, hello. I am stream yarding. Guys, I'm stream yarding my video tonight um, because I wanted to show you guys something. It is Saturday Night Confessions, and I am going to confess that I want you guys, I have an opinion on this, and I want to hear your guys' opinion también. Um I want to hear what you guys think about this. I don't know if how many of you guys have seen this. I don't know. But I'm going to confess my opinion after we stream yard, um, stream yard this. Are you guys ready? Is everybody ready for my stream yard? Uh, <laughs> Mark. Hi, Prima. Thank you for being here. Um, it, hi, Cindy. Cindy, I do want to tell you something, girlfriend, but I will translate the 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 what I'm gonna what I'm gonna stream is in Spanish, but you will get along. You will know what's going on because I will be stopping it to tell you what's going on. Okay, so I'm gonna stream yard something on TikTok. It is in Spanish. But I want you to bear with me because um, because this is it, it, this is what it is. It's in Spanish. Okay, wait. This thing wants me to verify. Put in me. Hold it. Go back. We're going to start it. I am going to stream yard it. So let me, let me get it together, guys. Thank you for being here. Hey, Ma, I'm glad you're here. Um, we have two more tombolas for later on tonight, but I want to stream yard something. And it is Saturday Night Confessions. And I want you guys, I'm going to try to translate it as much as I can. I, I think a lot of you guys have already watched it, but if you haven't, this is something that that we need to talk about, all right? It is in Spanish. I do want to tell Cindy and maybe 
whoever doesn't understand Spanish. Hola, comadrita la tiny queen, uh, the queen of hearts. Thank you for being here. Let me, uh, let me stream your this so that we can analyze the video and talk about it because it is something interesting that we should talk about guys. Let me share my screen. It's right here. All right, there it is. I'm going to make this screen bigger, guys, so that you guys can have, see a better picture of it. Let's do the full screen and let's play it. It is in Spanish. Y a los dos hombres moridos a golpes. Mi hermana me avisó por teléfono, yo no estaba en Tasco. Ya nada, no se vuelve a caminar, pero tampoco se puede quedar así. Camila solo tenía ocho años. Su madre le contó a la fiscalía que la tarde de ayer le dio permiso para visitar a la hija de Ana, su vecina, en Taxco, Guerrero. All right, let's stop it. I don't know if you guys have seen what happened. So the little girl's eight years old. The little girl tells her mom, mom, can I go to the, my best friend, the neighbor's daughter? And her mom told her, yes. Guys, have you guys ever let your child go and visit the neighbor's daughter? I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't know if anybody has ever done that or did you maybe in our times a long time ago, I remember my boys would go to the neighbor's house. Anyone? I don't know if you guys are commenting or not. Did you ever let your children play with a neighbor's kids? Both of my girls visited friends. Exactly. My kids were, were always at the neighbor's house or the neighbor's kids were at my house. Yes. Nothing wrong with it. Right? The little girl is eight years old. She says, Mom, can I go next door? And the mom said, yes. So far, we're good. Let's listen to the man. Oh. Ahí va. Fue por ella y no encontró a nadie. Por teléfono, la mujer le dijo que la niña nunca llegó, pero una vecina le mostró imágenes. All right. Again, let me go back so that you guys... Imágenes de una cámara de seguridad. Hold it. I want to go back. Okay, guys. So let me translate. She goes and she looks for her. The daughter never came back. She goes to the neighbor's house and the neighbor told her, your daughter never got here. Your daughter never came to my house. So obviously she goes into panic mode and she starts looking for her daughter. But the neighbor told her, your daughter never came to my house. That is the most important thing, guys. Let me hit play. Visitar a la hija de Ana, su vecina, en Taxco, Guerrero. Ahí va. Fue por ella y no encontró a nadie. Por teléfono, la mujer le dijo que la niña nunca llegó. Pero una vecina le mostró imágenes de una cámara de seguridad donde se ve a Camila entrando a la casa. Y aquí está. En otro video también captaron a la presunta secuestradora llevando un cesto de ropa hacia un taxi estacionado en la calle. Enseguida aparece un hombre cargando una bolsa plástica. Guys. Are you guys with me? Hey, adventurous grandma. So I'm translating here. The neighbor told her that her daughter never went there. And a few hours later, she's asking around. The neighbor, One of the other neighbors says, I have a video camera. And they could see the little girl did go to the neighbor's house. And a few hours later, they see a taxi right there. I don't know if you guys can see the taxi. And this man is carrying, the man is carrying, guys, a heavy black bag. The lady had already come out with a basket of clothes, pretending like they're going to go to the laundromat. But the man comes out with a, with a black bag, and it seemed like it was heavy. All right, let's, let's keep listening to the video. I don't know if I can make that bigger. Probably not. 
Azteca Negra. Meten todo a la cajuela, se suben al vehículo y se van. La madre denunció que además le exigieron rescate. Querían 250 mil pesos, casi 13 mil dólares. So, guys, after a few hours, after a few hours of the little girl gone missing, that same neighbor asked for a ransom. Your daughters had to call you when they got to their houses. Well, the little girl was there. But after a few hours of looking for the little girl and, and, the, and the neighbor telling her that she wasn't there, the mom gets a WhatsApp message from the neighbor asking her for 250,000 pesos, the equivalent of about $13,000. Now the neighbor knew that the dad was in the United States working. So they, they kid, sequestraron, kidnapped the little girl, but they had already killed her. They had already unalived this little girl when they started asking for the money, guys. Isn't that some, some sort of I was a Kool-Aid mom for my son's friends. But my rule was they called their parents. This is in Mexico. Yes, this happened in Mexico. But the story, see, what I'm going to confess comes after we see the story. If anybody's here for drama, there's no drama here tonight. No drama, none at all. Para devolverle a su hija. A la medianoche, la policía arrestó al taxista de los videos, quien finalmente los llevó hasta el cuerpo de Camila. All right. It wasn't until midnight when the police got a hold of the taxi driver who finally took them to where the body had been just thrown. They had just thrown that black bag out of the car. So finally the police got to the taxi, to the taxi driver who finally told them where the body was at. Exactly, Otiveros. But let's keep listening. Por eso este jueves decenas de personas volvieron a salir a las calles a exigir justicia. Que Tasco sea señalado como poco rojo porque no podemos permitir una muerte más inocente. All right, let me put this, let me get that out. Ah. All right, so guys, to keep going with the story, this is a very sad story. Not until midnight did they find the little girl who had been unalived. But the police officers weren't doing anything. Which not until the following day, they went and they picked up a lady and two men. All right. So the following day, which was yesterday, yesterday was Friday. I think it happened yesterday or Thursday. More than 5,000 people wanted justice. And this is where my confession comes in. This is where my confession comes in, guys. More than 5,000 people wanted justice for Camila. And yes, this did happen in Mexico, but it could happen here also. It doesn't matter where it happened. The point is, guys, there was only 40 police officers. There was only 40 police officers and more than 5,000 people wanting justice. The police moved aside. They didn't have anything else they could do. They moved aside. And people took justice in their own hands. I confess, I loved it. They deserved it, in my opinion. What do you guys think? The lady was taken to the hospital. The mom of the, of the best friend, the mom of the best friend was taken to the hospital. By the time she got there, she was gone. And, and these people were not burned alive. 
They were not. They were just beat. The two men were taken to the hospital where one of them has already been, one of them has already didn't make it, and the other one is in critical condition. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that they did the right thing? In my opinion, they that little girl was innocent. I agree, Mr. Vino. I think I think that those 5,000 people want justice. Do not, why did they have to go money, greedy, greed, envy, whatever? Work. If you can't cross the border and that lady's husband was able to cross the border and send that lady American dollars, oh well. In my opinion, they got, so do I, Mari. I do believe that. We need more old-fashioned lynchings. Yes, we do. When it's obvious of who did it. That's why I've always said, I wish that they could go back to get the rope, hang up here in the United States. When they know if it is legitimate that they did it. Exactly. I do. I, I get your, I, I do. I agree. I mean, thank you. Um, it's very sad that children, innocent children, I could understand, you know, but an innocent child. And in my opinion, also, guys, it had already been wrote. It had already been wrote by God. But why? And that's where people, a lot of people get mad at God. You know, but these are things that are going to happen. I don't want nothing to happen to my children. None of us want anything to happen to our children or to ourselves or to any of our family members. I have been accused of being a bad person. I don't want anybody to get sick. I don't want anybody to go through hardship. I, and I don't. That is not who I am. If I've ever said anything to someone that I have offended who did not deserve it, then I do apologize to that person. But everything that I've ever said that sounds negative to those people that don't know me is because they don't know what's behind it or why I said it. I am not a bad person. I don't want anyone to have something that they do not deserve. But these people and the lady telling the mom, your daughter never got here, knowing that her daughter had already been unalive. That is sad. I don't know what's happening. It's very sad, guys. Ontiveros, I did not see what you said. I'm sorry, Comis. Am I on live chat over here? Let me go over here and make sure that I'm on live chat. I need to be on my on my uh, video and see if I'm on live chat. Because I think I'm not on live chat, guys. I do apologize. Let me put my video on live chat. Come on. I'm on top chat over here. Let me go to live chat. There it is. I'm on live chat now because I'm streaming it because of what I wanted to show you guys. There is another video that I want to, that I want to show you guys. Hola, hola, la Sovia. Hola, hola, todas. Tomorrow is happy Easter. Happy Easter para todas mañana. Thank you. There are people that have no redemption. Exactly. The pain and fear was extended by the amount of time spent in waste, in waste and search. Yeah, but the, the taxi driver didn't want to tell him. I think so, too. Justice for that little girl. I have another video that I want you guys to see, guys. Um, 
Let me show you the other video. It is in Spanish. I do apologize, but it is in Spanish. And this is the little girl's mom. I want you guys to know something. There was a political man who went live in Mexico and, and blamed the mom. He was blaming the mom. Like, sin tal vergüenza. Blaming the mother for what happened to the little girl. How could it have been the mother's fault if maybe the little girl had already gone before? Had already said, mami, ahorita vengo, I'm going to go to my friend's house. How can you be blaming the mother for that? So um, that high political guy is in in the eye of the people because of what he said. Because it was not the mother's fault. But I do have another video that I want you guys to see that pertains to this. Let me... Um, let me fix it here. All right. Ah, uh, escape. I have to, uh, I have to join it first. Can you see it? You can't see what people exactly mark. You cannot see what they have in their heart. Let me share the screen. All right, there's the screen now. Let's let's make it big. Full screen. Are we there? All right. I want you guys to listen. It is in Spanish. Like I said, it is in Spanish, but let's listen to what she says. Mamá de Camila agradece solidaridad y exige justicia. De Camila Gómez. Decía hace rato que agradecía, dadas las circunstancias, todas las muestras de solidaridad y afecto que ha recibido su familia. Claro que sí, yo no me esperaba el cariño de tanta gente que estuvo para mi niña. De verdad, yo no me imaginaba ni siquiera en mi vida pues, que iba a pasar esto que le pasó a mi niña. Y no es mi culpa, yo siempre he cuidado a mi hija, no solo tengo una, tengo tres. No. So guys, the lady is thanking everybody that helped her. Um, and she's saying, it's not my fault. I didn't just have one daughter, I've got three daughters. But the reason, it is, there is so much evil, Rosina. The reason that she's saying that is because that political man was blaming her. It is heartbreaking. It is, Mark. Exactly. Why Why would he do that? El pendejete. Let me keep playing this. No es mi culpa. Yo siempre estuve al pendiente de ellas y la gente que me conoce lo sabe. Yo simplemente confío en su amiga. No es la primera vez que va a jugar. See, it wasn't the first time that she had gone over there, guys. No es la primera vez que lo hace. La niña incluso también iba a mi casa muchas veces. And the other little girl would go to her house. Pecado de mi niña fue querer demasiado a esa niña y a la mamá porque hasta la mamá la quería mucho. Sí, pero de que yo cuidaba a mi hija la cuidaba. Confié, confié ayer, confié en las personas equivocadas porque me dieron una cara diferente también a mí. Creo que ninguna madre o alguna persona que tenga hijos si no los cuida, yo creo que no es madre. De verdad, y si estoy agradecida con la gente. Y también lo que pasó ayer con la señora Ana no, no estuvo en mis manos. La gente ya estaba cansada. Tenían una noche ahí sin dormir, parte de la tarde también. Okay, guys. Estaban... Right here, the mom is saying, it is not my fault what happened to the neighbor, la señora Ana. The 5,000 people had already been there for, an, for a whole night waiting on justice to be done. So... It's she's saying and telling everyone, it's not my fault what happened to that lady. Because that lady was beat. She was actually beat. The, the other little girl's mom. Yo ni siquiera estaba ahí. No era lo que yo quería. También para la persona que está diciendo, yo no era lo que quería. Yo la quería viva. Yo la quería viva para que sufra el mismo tiempo que yo voy a sufrir. Pero ella pudriéndose en la cárcel por lo que le hizo a una niña. Guys, the, the lady is saying, I didn't want that lady to be unalive. I wanted her to suffer in jail, the suffering that I'm going to be without my daughter. So I can only imagine 
the pain that this lady's going through because of evil people like that. You know, she wanted money. That's that little girl was worth more than thirteen thousand dollars. Come on, Jesus! If that's what the hell? But these people are poor. They didn't. She didn't have thirteen thousand dollars to give her. Thank you, thank you, DB. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, this is a really nice story that, that I mean, not a nice story, but sí. something different. Salió de las manos. Y también sí, sí quiero justicia porque no es solo ella. Ana no lo hizo sola, hay muchas personas con ella. Y les agradezco a ustedes, a lo mejor no... No tuve el tiempo, no tengo las ganas, no tengo ni las palabras adecuadas. So the lady is saying that there's more people involved, guys. She's saying there's more people involved. That's why she wants justice. Me esperaban están con mi hija. El pueblo está con mi hija. Y espero que esto sirva para algo, para algo bueno. Lo que le pasó a mi hija sirva para algo bueno. Claro, tú decías hace un. Okay. Um. So. The people that unalived the little girl, she, the mom is saying that there's more people involved, but they were lynched. They were lynched by a mob of about 5,000 people that were there because they wanted justice for the little girl that had been unalived by, by three of them. But the mom is saying that there's more people involved. I, maybe it's a organized gang of people that are Kidnapping children, maybe, maybe that's what it is. Oh, the man and the taxi driver. I hope they get, yes, I'm being, maybe Mark, maybe it's a whole gang of organized criminals. Exactly, thank, thank. So you didn't get the beginning, uh, P.I. Silent Viewer, her daughter went to the neighbors. I'm going to just recap really quick. This lady's daughter, this lady's daughter went to the neighbor's house. She had been there before. The neighbor's daughter had come to her house before. When the daughter never came back after a few hours, she went to the neighbor and the neighbor said, my daughter, your daughter never got here. So she went looking for her daughter in all the neighborhood. And one lady told her, I've got cameras. So when they look at the cameras, the little girl had been there at the neighbor's house and they kept seeing the cameras. And then the neighbor asked for the neighbor, her neighbor asked for a taxi where she took out a big basket of clothes. And there was a man with a big black bag and it looked like he was carrying something heavy because he had it on his shoulders. So then the, he throws it into the taxi and through the trunk and they left. The little girl was never seen again. And then that night they went to go look for the taxi driver who told them that he had gone to go throw the bag. They went to the bag and the little girl was in the bag. So what happens later? Everybody wanted justice because they found out what had happened and they lynched three people of which two of them are already gone. And the other one is very critical in the hospital with head injuries. I don't think it was. I don't think it was. Yeah, it, they shouldn't have done that. They shouldn't have unalived her. Yeah, and this was not in the United States, guys. This happened in Mexico, but it happens everywhere. This is just hap This is just streaming now on TikTok. Pareciera que de momento todo el país volvió a verte y a tu hija y esta terrible tragedia. ¿Qué esperarías y qué es lo que le dices a las autoridades hoy de esta de, de Guerrero? Para, Espero para que, que no a ninguna atenta. niña pase, pase lo que pasó mi niña. Ninguna niña merece eso. Ni ninguna niña merece que le corten sus sueños. Ninguna familia merece que la destruyan como destruyeron. She's saying they cut my daughter's claro. dreams, guys. Porque mataron a mi niña, pero también mataron parte de mí. She says they didn't just unalive my daughter, they unalive part of my of me. 
She's saying no mother deserves to be going through what I'm going through. I don't wish this upon anyone. Everybody knew that my daughter, how my daughter was. My daughter was a very caring, lovable little girl. Probably, Mark. That that could be it. Yes. But this, the sound of freedom. She wanted the little girl wanted to be a nurse. Oh my God. Um, Cindy, the sound of freedom. They are kidnapping kids and they are taking them out of Mexico, taking them out of China, taking them out of and, and selling them elsewhere. This kidnapping was the lady was being a B-I-T-C-H, like seriously, the neighbor. The neighbor wanted money, plain and simple. And Mark had a good point because maybe the neighbor's husband had done something that he shouldn't have been doing. Maybe they were not even kidnappers. Because the little girls had already been knowing each other for years, right? Maybe they were not even kidnappers, but by the at the time that you start asking somebody for a ransom, you become a kidnapper. You know what I mean? I I'm gonna go with Mark's Mark's theory that the husband probably did something, and by the time it was too late, he had already unalived her. And in my opinion. I think Mark has a, a, a really good uh, thing going there with that idea. She says her daughter didn't deserve it. They haven't said anything about that. I, I haven't heard. Todo el pasillo está lleno de cámaras, las escaleras. Yo no sé por qué no procedían. Además hubo una serie de mensajes. So see guys, the mom is saying that the police didn't do anything. There was cameras everywhere. That's why those 5,000 people got upset. Sí, están, estuvo, están los mensajes. Lo hicieron desde el celular de mi niña. Lo tenía bien trabajado porque mi niña me pidió permiso. Y a la hora que ella me dijo que iba a regresar a la casa y no regresó fue cuando me empezaron a escribir luego, luego. Así con su secuestro, ahí están las pruebas. So they were using her own daughter's phone to ask for the ransom money, guys. de Camila, pero Tasco está viviendo desde tiempo una situación de violencia. El de Camila es el caso más reciente, pero ha habido otros tantos. Es, y con lo que decía hace rato, es este caso o debiera ser parte aguas y lo que una a la comunidad de Tasco para allá... The lust for money, Mark. I know that's what you meant. The violence in general and the impunity that prevails in this in this community, in this municipio. Yes, no one, no merece ser privado de su vida. No one merece que les hagan daños siendo inocentes y más con una niña, de verdad. Mi niña no. No tenía culpa de nada. Entonces, Solamente querer a esa niña. He tenido el respaldo de mi parte por último, el respaldo de autoridades. Es el respaldo en serio de autoridades. One without her daughter, the other without her mother. Del estado de la federación. That other little girl, eight, eight year old little girl, lost her mom. Y después en el, el tema de justicia. And maybe her dad y también. Chill. Yo ya hablé con la gobernadora hace un rato. Ya ya sabe mi petición. Ella lo sabe. So it was the governor that had said that it was her fault. I think. These these uh, reporters already upset me, guys. I'm going to be done with this. Th those reporters are not seeing that ladies. Um... suffering they're not caring for that lady suffering you know what i mean so yeah the reporters upset me she says she had petitioned uh, the governor for something i don't know what she petitioned the governor for but the ripple effect 
Exactly. You left me without uh, my daughter and the people de believed that somebody needed to pay for that. And I agree. Like, I don't, I'm not because I'm mean or not because I'm evil. It's because of what they did. It's because of what they did. And those are my, in my opinion, my thoughts. P.I. Silent Viewer, the other mother is gone. Gone. They lynched her. They lynched the mother and maybe the father and one of the brothers, one of the ladies. I don't know if it was her son. Exactly. Yeah. The people, the people took care of them. There was 5,000, there was a mob. There was a mob of 5,000 people against 40 officers. So the 40 officers backed off. 5,000 people, and they wanted justice. They wanted justice, and they took it upon their own hands. And I am in total agreement with what they did. I am. I'm not going to deny it. I do believe in um, the law of Moses. I do. I do. I own it, you know, and it's sad. It's sad when something like that happens. Um, a lot of things have happened in the United States where people have not seen justice because here in Raymondville, here in Raymondville, uh, a long time ago, I was not here when that story happened or... I don't know what happened, but two American white boys, unalived, two teenagers, uh, a couple. And they went to jail. They went to jail for unaliving the boy and, and, the, and the girl. And just for fun. They did it just for fun. Like, really? So, yeah, like, make that make sense. You are unaliving people. They're not birds. They're not snakes, you know, that are going to bite you, cobras or something. You're unaliving innocent people that had nothing to do. They were not even bothering those two guys. They were not fighting. You know, this couple had been at a party and they wanted to go and, smooch a little bit. That's all they wanted to do. You know, vamos a platicar, we're just going to talk. And these two guys decide that just for the fun of it, they're going to pew, 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 Like, and then they go to jail. And that's not the end of it. That's not the end of it. The thing is that every freaking year, these people are getting parole. Parole, 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 parole. They're asking for parole, parole, parole. And finally, one of them is a, granted. I wanted to get the right word. Finally, one of them is granted. You you can get out. What? Like, I don't have I don't have my daughter. I don't have my son. And you're gonna let let this fucker get out? Like, guys, come on. Let's be honest. Why wasn't it an eye for an eye? There's two people that are dead here. Let's. Unalive those two. And that's it. Yeah. Hola, Dora. Good evening. Off topic. I think something's going to happen on April 8th. I heard. Is that when the eclipse is going to be? Now you're going to tell us what's going to happen on April 8th. Is that is that when the eclipse, eclipse is going to be? April 8th? I don't know. I, I, I don't know.
So April 8th is the eclipse. Oh, I have not drank anything. I have a soda right here that I want to drink. Tengo una sodita right here. Travis County, Austin has declared national emergency for the eclipse. See? So then it's true. You did hear it. Cindy with, a, with an S heard about it. Rosina. I know somebody that did. I know somebody that's right on top of it. I know somebody that has been, mira, te voy a decir algo en secreto, no tengo verga, pero ya me la engresó, talking about that shit on the 8th. Let me, let me call him. Let me see what he says about that. Can you come over here so you can tell me about what's going to happen on April 8th? Or do you want to tell me over the phone? Yeah, the day of the eclipse. April 8th. Is that the day of the eclipse? Yes. What have you been hearing about it? Well, I've been hearing rumors that the government is uh, collecting, like they're not, they're not collecting, but they're getting prepared. They're getting prepared? The government is getting prepared? Which never happened before in the history of humankind, and uh, some rumors. What are the rumors, and what is it about? Well, it might be the you better you better be good with God. You better be good with God. You better be good with God and do things you good. Better, you better be good with God, guys. You better repent. Gabriel is saying that we need to repent. Okay. Because it might just be the. The, is that what they're thinking? Yeah, it might, it, it's, it's a prophecy. It's been, it was going to happen. There, it's Goyo says that it's a prophecy, guys. Everybody's saying hi to you. We go just say hi to everyone. Hi. But but is that all you heard? I mean, there's been there's been a lot of rumors, a lot of a lot of things. I mean, a lot of coincidences. There's been a lot of coincidences. So on April eighth, it might just be the the time. You better. You better fuck up. The ride's almost over. So he's are you trying to say that Mark shouldn't pay for his car car payment this month or what? I don't know. We still we're still in the society that we're in. We're still in this society, so you have to pay it, Mark. Yeah. It's, hey, he's right. Corey knows right what's up. You didn't vote. No one voted for the, no one voted for the right people. They kept the people still in that power seat, so that's their fault. What do you mean, Biden? 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 I don't like that guy. You know why? Mm. Instead of hiring the company that ruined this, the the bill, the ruined the bridge, instead of telling the company you owe us, he did it. We had to pay out of our own money for the bridge that fell down in yes, Maryland, in Baltimore. So, so freak that guy. We will have our own ten seven. What is that, Cindy? What are you talking about? Bless your home. Thank you. And. That company got rich over COVID nineteen. So that's... the company that made the bridge. No, no, no. no. Oh, what company? The, the boat. The boat. The boat company. Those the are those people that that were shipping that stuff. They got rich, and they should. But go. They say it's only a theory until the conspiracy is proven. So it's only a theory. Look, it was a freak accident. That's all I know. Are you talking about? Now we change it. Now you're talking about the. Now no, you're talking no, no, about no, the no, Maryland the bridge. bridge. I'm talking about the bridge. Uh, that, that whole. I'm talking about this. It was an accident, okay. and the people who did that accident. But the bridge doesn't have nothing to do with the October eighth. No. Okay. No, that's okay. That's something this. Okay. No. That's, that's something else. Yeah. So, what do you think it was on purpose? Is that what you're telling me? No. Oh no. It was just an accident. It was just a freak accident. Yeah, and the bridge falling down. People say it was bombs. No, there was no bombs. Those things that sparked on the bridge. Were like the, the, the lights, electricity. the electricity. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think so too. I don't think it was bombs. If it would have been bombs, it would have been bigger explosions. Yeah, they say, oh, they're they're they're, 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 they're
I think it was a freak accident. I think so too. I think it was just a freak accident. And a stupid Biden wants us to pay for it. Freak that. What a Biden needs to do is give us more money on the pinche cheque a la verga. We could get our money. We could get some money back in, our, in, in the government. But there was another watch. incident in Oklahoma. What was it about? What was it about, girly? I, I don't know. I have not seen the news. Te digo, yo no tengo, no, yo no, yo no más tengo Netflix. And whatever it is, I see that Louis Gossett Jr. died. I love that movie where he was a reptile. What movie was that, guys, where, where Louis Gossett Jr.? Thank you, guys. Thank you for the, your likes. What was that movie where Louis Gossett Jr. was a reptile? Does anybody remember that movie? Israel was attacked uh, from within. Hello? Hey, on the air, off the air. On the air. Girly, you are on the air. We've already done our show. The table is yours. No, actually, I was calling. Hi, Peacock. It's RJ. RJ, RJ's on the line, guys. Yeah, because uh, uh, you were saying about that. Uh, that story about those people that unalived the that couple, the little you girl, know? yes. Okay, well, I'm, t- I'm talking about them there in Raymondville many moons. Ago. Oh yes, yes, yes. Those two American kids that unalived the teenage couple. Okay, well, okay. The 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 kids that that unalived that did the shooting. I went to school with them. And I had one of them in my out in my geometry class. He sat right behind me. Okay. And the sister of one of them was a really, really, and still to today is a very, very good friend of mine. And um, <clears throat> I remember, I think I was we I was maybe about seventeen years old at the time uh-huh. when when that happened. But yeah, that couple it was on it was on Thanksgiving. Yeah, they, they had been at a, at a Thanksgiving get-together. They were at a, no, they were at El Toros. They were at the dance. Okay. Remember? Okay, yeah. And they were at the dance, and they decided they wanted, you know, to, well, you know, back then, they, uh, Rainville really doesn't have a place for people, to, for them to hang out and stuff. So they went to, uh, like, uh, to the back roads. Yeah, they went to the back roads. Yeah, and um, they were there. And uh, apparently these people uh, were playing this game that was called uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Which people? The couple or the other two guys? The the other people. The The other two guys. Yeah. What never came out was that those two guys were the shooters. Yeah. But there were other several people that they were playing at their home that were never mentioned because they took the whole, uh, they took the whole, uh, it was like closed doors and they made an agreement or whatever, you know, they said. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. They agreed yeah. to 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 close the stuff, okay? Yeah. And and so yeah, they they were playing that game called Dungeons and Dragons. And um those people were shot over a hundred times, like uh each. They were like literally slaughtered in the back row. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Each one of those two young children because they were still 17 and 18 years old guys they yeah, were they still were, yeah. in, in high school they were seniors i believe i believe they were seniors in in high school they weren't that they weren't that old um they were young they, they weren't took, very old they, the they weren't much older than i was yeah so uh, yeah they were shot over a hundred times a hundred times each each Yep. And what, and just a, for the fun of it, right? Just for the fun I, of it? This is a true story. Just yeah, like, this, that is a true story, guys. That happened here, here in Willacy County. Yeah, and like I said, I knew this. I mean, their sister was a really good friend of mine. And, and it got really bad to where people wanted to kill this family because of that. Because of what they did, how awful they were. I mean, had they been real Mexicans, girl, I think somebody would somebody well, would have. The thing was that uh, the family left immediately, and uh, I had lost contact with my friend because of that. Mm, they left for many many years. They left for many 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 years. Sorry, and um, the family of the two guys. Yes. 
Uh -huh. and and they, 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 they knew that somebody would have done something. Of course you want to avenge. Yeah, they had to leave because of the threats they were getting. So yeah, they did. They, they, they left the, the town. That and is the end of Indian warrior. RJ didn't do it. She was with me. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't, me it wasn't RJ this time. Yeah, that, yeah, that story, I was not here remember. when that story happened because I left in 1985. I remember it so well because that, I remember. Did that happen before 85? Why don't I remember that? That, I, that, I that I they remember. were older than me. Maybe because I was younger. No, it, it happened around. No, say, it was like in '87. Right, 87. it happened after I had already left because I left in '85 and they were younger than me. That's yeah, right. it was about '87, '88, and I, the guy that was one of the shooters, that sat behind me. So when they found out that it was him, they, I, I was there. Like we saw everything. Or they went and they arrested him there in in class. Oh wow! Oh. They were in school when they got arrested. Yes. So these two guys thought that nobody was going to find out? No, they, no, they, they thought they weren't going to find Pendejos, out. But they were probably talking you, to people. You know why they found out? Why? I'll tell you what. Because the the father or the brother, the brother of one of the shooters gave him away. He he he, they, he, he found out and he, he went to the cops and told them that it was his brother and his friend. Wow. Yep. That's how they found out. Yeah, they would, they would have been, uh, what is it called? Harboring the fugitive. Well, not a yeah. fugitive, but somebody that did something wrong. Yeah, well, they didn't know. They didn't know, but the only reason he found out is because he heard him talking. Okay, he curious. Heard. Curious. Uh, the Queen of Hearts is asking, what is Dungeons and Dragons? Isn't that a game? It, it's a game, but it's like a, like a sacrifice where they had to sacrifice. Let me look. Uh, let me talk to my cousin Google. Yeah. What is Dungeons and Dragons? According to Wikipedia, Dungeons and Dragons is a fantasy tabletop role-playing game originally created and designed by Gary Gigax and Dave Arneson. For what? What the hell? What, what is a Dungeons? What is the concept? So the concept players gather together in one room to take part in an imaginary adventure that often involves exploring a castle. Wait to defeat monsters and discovering treasures, but that's not what they did. They just killed them. I was told that they had done it for like a sacrifice ritual or something type like that, to be honest with you. That's what the rumor was. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then, of course, like you said, they, after 10 years, they, because they were young, remember these people, these guys were young, they were like 17. Yeah. So after 10 years, it was they were 27, so... They were getting uh, asked for parole, but um, they. It, it I know that back. the girls. I know that the girls' family, the girl and the guy's family, kept telling the parole board, "No, no, no, no." And it was just recently, recently, a few recently, years ago. Yes, I was just about to tell you. Yeah. Recently, one. Uh, they they were they were paroled, but they cannot no longer be in the city of Rainbow. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, they, they they finally got paroled after twenty something years. Oh wow! So they only paid twenty something years of of, of prison. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll tell you what. A lot of us are from here. We're American citizens. Pero pinche mexicano a la verga los manda chingar a su madre, girl. You don't think so? Well, I know that it was really bad. I remember that I remember it being super bad. Like you had the whole school upset because that was a tragedy. Even though we didn't know these people, this couple, the way they got killed was awful. It was horrific. Of course. Like you know, I mean, I'm 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 getting chills just to think about a hundred pinche balas a la verga. Like what the fuck? Yeah. Oh my mm -hmm. god. Yep, it was horrific. So, and I know there was a lot of uh, uh, people that wanted to just, you know, you know, they wanted to take vengeance, you know, and they wanted to to do it themselves. I know, Cindy, that the young, that the couple, the couple's parents, well, on both sides, they kept telling the parole board, no, 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 no. I mean, we're suffering. Because I'll tell you what, mine was just, 
they just took my stuff. Mine was just a theft. And oh, the first year I heard that the person was going to go free. Uh, I didn't know what was happening. But then I heard that the parole board had said no. So then every year I would call and I would say, hey, you know what? I don't think that guy should come up. Hey, you know what? And for four years, I did that. I did that for four years. And every time I called, I said, do you think his mom is suffering? And they would say, we think she is. Good. Good. Because my mom suffered. Good. And that's the only reason that I did it. I'm not a bad person, but my mom suffered. So I, and what else do you remember, girlfriend? That, that's got to be sad. Chinga, did you, do you yeah, remember was, going uh, to that funeral? Yeah. And, the, and it was because and a lot of people started like, they would, pues me sacaron mucho coraje, some people, because of the fact that I remained friends with, with the sister. And to today, you know, she tells me she's married and, and, you know, uh, we talk and she'll tell me, you know, that she thanks me for, for still being her friend because a lot of people shut her out because of what her brother had done. Yo nunca la I never like blamed her because it really wasn't her fault. She didn't know, you know. And Are so you talking that, about one of the sisters of one of the unalivers? Yes. Mm -hmm. One of the two shooters? Yes. Oh, one of the wow. Yeah. So one mm -hmm. of the two shooters, one of his sisters... Was a real good friend of mine. We would hang out at that. <laughs> yeah, like we were really good friends. <laughs> we have a follower. We have a follower que se puso la pinche baking soda la verga. Ah! Oh my god! Me. And it's not me. Ah! It's not RJ because RJ's on the phone. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, girlfriend, it is la mera verga. It is la mera verga. I applaud you. He's never pride. And she's telling us that uh, the lady in the in the dollar bill is here. <laughs> George Washington. <laughs> Calmate, <laughs> wait, calmate. I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to be good. Yes, that way, Miss Acola. I know. I go, but I give you props for that. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that laugh. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my God, that was hilarious. Wow, guys. Um, RJ, I want to thank you for calling in and telling us that story. Oh my God. Um, welcome. Yeah, one, of the, yeah. one of these days, we need to do a show about something, girl. Even if you have to put, put pones el home interior, como, como, <laughs> pones el home interior, okay, girl? Because I'm going to stream you. We got to do a show about something. Um, yeah, we got to get together. Good. We got to get a few women on, on board, guys, because we are going to do a show. We're going to stream a show. I'm glad that you did a, a thousand a, a call because I'm glad that. You know, you're moving forward, and, and this topic was really good. It's really I, sad. I think it was. Though, we have to do the topic, RJ, about the guy here in Mission. Is he in Mission or is he in McAllen? We're gonna. That's gonna be our next show, guys. Uh, the guy that got duped, uh, his wife and his oh, and Carlos. His, yes, Carlos uh, Lopez. Oh yeah, yeah. That that's a good that's a good one too. The one that I'm really oh my god, I just I'm so triggered about right now is the one of that lady that lived to. Mm -hmm to uh where she went on vacation for oh days. yes i know that bitch she she's in jail already I, I know i just can't believe it why would she do something ten, like that like 10 fucking days on 12 it was it ended up being 12 days on vacation yeah, because when she came back la, la, the chick still didn't even go home she went to go with be with a guy and still like that didn't go straight home like what was she thinking the little girl? i don't know what the fuck Esa, she needs the news the news, oh. que la orquen a la verga. Because, ni modo, you can't lie about it. You can't say it was somebody else. It wasn't Casper. It was her. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're 100% yeah. sure that it was her. But they're saying that she had another older daughter. And that the, at the in the house, the mom and the dad lived there with the other daughter. Not in See? the same house. Not in the same no, house. No, they did. They lived in the same house. But they left with the older daughter well, the, with the older daughter so why didn't they take the the little girl why did they leave the little girl behind with the with, with the mom you think she lived in, they lived with, oh, i didn't know that yeah they went they went on vacation too that's what they're trying to investigate as to why did 
they take the older uh, daughter and not the little one. Okay, Mar Mark is saying no, no. The parents had the older daughter. They had, I think yes. the parents lived apart, the girl. Like, I think they did. And they had taken the older daughter away from her. Probably oh. por lo mismo, because she was an unfit mother. Maybe. Well, that's what they're questioning. And that's what I was reading right now, saying that, that they they had lived in the same home and that they had gone on vacation, took the oldest daughter. But it could be right. I mean, maybe they got wrong because also the people, the neighbors heard they, they're, they're, they're putting the, the, you know how you have the ringer on the uh -huh, outside uh -huh. of the They could hear the little girl crying. It's so sad. <laughs> Yeah, they could hear the little girl crying. Cindy and, Young, and we don't know if the parents, I think, in my opinion, the parents lived elsewhere with the older daughter. But RJ is saying that she heard that they had taken the older daughter on vacation. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll show you, the, I'll send you the clip so that way you can see it where they're saying that. And yes, they, because they, of the they, ring, they because of the ring, because of the ring camera, they could hear the baby crying because of the ring camera. Yes, it was awful. That's how they knew and, that she had passed. Yeah, man, it just has me like I cannot believe that anybody. And she's on. She was only fourteen months. Like, what are you thinking, Pendeja. lady? Pendeja, what is La big one, mama, está bien sabrosa. Pinche vieja, there's fucking dick pero, everywhere, pero bitch. Pero there's pero fucking dick pero everywhere, pero donde pero quiera. Pero RJ, did you ever? You, we need to have a show about crying for one fucking dick. Habiendo tanta pinche verga la verga. <laughs> What the fuck? Why was I crying for that one fucking dick? Habiendo tanta pinche verga. I used to go out on my fucking husband. What the fuck was I crying for him for? <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Guys, it's true. Like, tanta pinche verga in this fucking world. <laughs> the fuck? Your daughter is more important than that fucking verga. Yeah. Fuck, <laughs> unbelievable. But it is what it yeah. is. I mean, there's nothing we can do. You're right. Bueno, pues yeah. I just wanted to go and tell you on that, but uh, we'll stay in touch. I'll, I'll keep looking at your life. All right. No, we're almost done. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Hello. Yeah. Bye. Guys, I love you, RJ. I love you, RJ. I do. I love her. Es, es mi amiga. La quiero. Um, I was seeing it on Core TV. Thank you, Marty, for telling us that. Could he be premeditated as a murder for your grandparents? I, we don't know exactly what happened. This chick, I think... In my opinion, Cindy, they had already taken the little girl away from her, the older one. I think she had already lost her, like legally, legally. Ah, pendeja, calmate la verga, pinche word of the day or what? Legally, I think she had already lost the older one. I think. There's so many different flavors. A la verga! <laughs> I know what you're talking about, comis. But we need to have another a show about that. That's what I think. Mark said that's what I think. Oh, because of the doorbell. Yes. Yes, you're right, Mark, because of the ring ringtone. But anyway, guys, we've been with you guys for a little bit more than an hour. I want to thank you guys. Um, I want to thank you guys for being here. Gracias, gracias. Mil gracias. I love you guys for watching my show. And there is a lot of topics, a lot of things that we can talk about. I, I'm still thinking about Louis Gossett Jr. Nobody told me the movie where he was a reptile. Do you guys remember where he was a reptile? Does anybody remember that movie? Did you Debbie? Did you all hear about the couple in Houston where the man was going into the stores and jacking off to the little girls? And when the PD confiscated his phone, they found pictures of Pinche vato pendejo. Don't please don't tell me that he was a Mexican. That would that would really upset me. Debbie, was he a Mexican? Like a Mexican American? Dude, don't upset me. Please tell me that he was not a Mexican American. I would feel so fucking ashamed. Like, was he a Mexican American? Thank you, Queen. Thank you. Yes, Mark. That's what I think. I think the same thing. Yes. Oh, my God. Even that, doing nasty things with the dogs. A la verga. No, he was not a man. Ay, gracias a Dios. Bendito sea Dios that he was not a Mexican-American. I would feel so fucking ashamed if he was. Son of a bitch. Pepe's girl, we're leaving. Aquí estoy. 
Aquí estoy, aquí estoy, pero ya nos vamos, creo. Ya tenemos una hora con cuatro minutos. That's what the movie's called. What the? Which movie? Enemy Mind. I have not seen that. Ontiveros, I have not seen that. Tomorrow is Sunday. Guys, tomorrow is Sunday. Tomorrow is Easter. I do not celebrate Easter because my kids are big. But if you guys are going to be with family and friends, una parrilla, please do not drink and drive. Por favor, please stay safe. I love you guys. No, do not drink and drive. The wife was having sex with some pinche perro la verga. Oh! Chinga. Again, again, la tiny. Tanta pinche big one mama que hay allá. Ay, 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 cabrón. Ni modo, ¿qué vamos a hacer? No, hombre, don't even. Oh, my God. There's so many things that we can talk about. Yes, tomorrow is Easter, Mark. Have a happy Easter mañana. I'm going to try to go live tomorrow sometime. I don't know when. I do sleep late. Yo no trabajo. Guys, you guys know. Yo no trabajo a la verga. Este, pero. I might spill my beer. Yes. Be careful. Do not drink and drive because you might spill your beer. Uh, ¿Cómo se llamaba? Oh, Enemy Mind. Thank you. Thank you, comadrita. That's what it was called, Enemy Mind. Okay. I loved that movie. No más que no me acordaba which one it was. I loved Louis Gossett Jr. Se murió a la verga, ni modo. It was his timeline. Ni modo, he died. Waiting for Bella to fall asleep so I can make her basket. Ah, oh, how nice. I was supposed to buy my kids a chocolate and I did not. Fuck. But guess what? If I wake up early, I can go get them a chocolate because Cindy Young, Cindy, I love you. Se me había pasado. I didn't go anywhere today. Guys, I did not even get on my car. I did not cross the gate. Today, I've been in Serrada, like outside working this morning because I did copper. Check this out, guys. I was outside of my house getting copper. All this copper has to be done. So okay. that was a chair. That was a chair. No me be. It was this chair. I did not fart. So yeah. It was a chair. But anyway, guys, um I was outside. I did not even open the gate at all. I didn't go nowhere. But mañana, tomorrow, Cindy told me, go get your kids some chocolate. And I'm going to go get them some chocolate tomorrow. Wait, HB is going to be closed. What's going to be open tomorrow? Shit, I didn't go. Son of a bitch. Is everything going to be closed tomorrow? Shit. Easter Sunday. Tomorrow's Easter Sunday, but somebody told me to buy you guys chocolate and I didn't. Who would want? We have some oh, St. Martinez, that's good. I'm glad they're going to be doing extra, extra patrol. Good night, guys. Mark said something. Read my comment. Let me go back. Why did I miss it? Ah! <laughs> no, you did not. I'm going to tell you why. Because Maria Hernandez had already told me, YouTube is your job. No. No, chiquita, we were talking about they're, they are contacting agencies to try to find out if I have a job, which I don't. No cuenta, so no, you did not get the pouch. <laughs> Sorry, Mark, good try, but Maria Hernandez had already tried and I told her, nope, no cheating. These people are saying that I work for this company and if I work for that company, then I have a job, but I do not have a job. I know Walmart will be open. Okay, good. I'm cooking tomorrow. Two barbecues. I ain't... Oh, all right. I'm not going to go anywhere. I do not celebrate Easter. Good night, Sylvia. Good night. Good night, Peacocks. All right. I'm I'm what? I'm witch hunting. I. It's a witch hunt for them. It is because they ain't going to find nothing. No van a conseguir nada. But anyway, guys, estuve con ustedes. I love you guys. Mil gracias. Hey, 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 las tombolas. Good, start getting out the tombo. Nobody's gonna remind me that we have two more tombolas. What is wrong with you guys? Come on, I'm 57 years old, guys. Come on, I get distracted. 
We have two tombolas. Nobody's interested. Chinga su madre. All right. Give me a number from 1 through 50. No, Mark, not 420. Give me a number from 1 through 50. E, let me go to my YouTube over here. Give me a number from 1 through 50. Oh, shit, I can't. I'm, I'm doing it on StreamYard. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm on StreamYard, so you guys are going to have to help me out. Give me a number from 1 through 50. It's coming in so slow over here. Indian Warrior. Guys, the number is 9. Indian Warrior got it. Did anybody say 9 before Indian Warrior? I'm on StreamYard, so we're going to have a problem. Did anybody say nine before Indian Warrior? And I'm going to tell you why it's nine. Because this morning it was three, six, nine. So nine is the third one. Nine right here. Did anybody say nine before Indian Warrior? Please let me know. It was Indian Warrior. Puro pedo. Thank you. Indian Warrior, send me your cash app via... Via uh, Una Hora Con La Doña. Levina's calling me. Levina, I answered. You hung up. Levina, I answered and you hung up. Indian Warrior got it. It was 369. So I'm going to write Indian Warrior. Mommy, here, here we go. Levina's on the phone. Levina, you're on the phone. Decox. It was a great show. I loved it. I enjoyed it. Good topics. That's what I love. Thank you. I enjoyed it. And the laughter and the comments kept me going, kept me laughing. And happy Easter to you. Tomorrow's not going to be 100, but I'll try to keep my head up. Try not to think about it, girlfriend. I know you're, I know you're struggling. I know it's been three years, but... We are, it, it's, in Spanish, it says, Camino que todas vamos a pasar. It is a road that we are all going to go through. Yeah. It is, a, it is a hard road. But be strong and don't think about it. Guys, Levina, our friend Levina is struggling tomorrow or during this time of year. Her mom passed away three years ago. But this is a road that we are all going to go through. Es un dicho mexicano que dice, camino que todas vamos a pasar. So be strong, girlfriend. I know it hurts. You got a companion right here that has suffered the same thing you're suffering. Thank you. So, I love you, girl. Thank I love you, you girlie. So be that. strong. I'm going to find my, I'm going to find my, uh, I'm going to find my show. So Indian warrior, thank you. So Indian Warrior got it. Thank you. Thank you, girly. Bye-bye. Let me put it down here. Three, six, nine. Indian Warrior. Better me, guys. Let me look for my show on YouTube because I want to I wanna see it at the same time. We got some messages for you, Lavina, right here. Everybody loves you. Everybody's saying be strong. It's been three years. Her mom passed away. Mine is gonna go going on. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. Eight years in September. Mine will be eight years in September. Camino que todas vamos a pasar o que estamos pasando. It is a very, very hard, but but it is what it is. So, espérenme un ratito. We have one more tombola, guys. So, people going away is good. That's all right. No pasa nada. Better chance for the other ones. I don't see, I'm streaming. I'm streamyarding it. No sé qué pasó. I don't see nothing on this side because I'm on the stream yard. Jenny, I haven't been. I went the other day. Cindy, you're a little bit behind. We're done with that one. We haven't started the next one. Uh, Mark, I think it was a uh, silent viewer. That you blocked? I don't know if you did or not. I'm not there. Did Mark block a silent viewer? I don't know what happened. Oh, God. Mark, the baking soda shouldn't have been blocked. It's just somebody being funny. Somebody was being funny, but they're one of ours. 
I am. I am. Mark, can you unblock the baking soda? I mean, I know that we, <laughs> that was somebody just being funny, but it's one of ours. It's one of our people because they, their people wouldn't do it. Their people would have stupid names like La Roña and names like Quiero Tu Tamal, Quiero Tu Kitty 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 and shit like that. I can't go back that far anymore. Okay, that's fine. I'll get it. I'll get it. Let me just um, let me just make sure about something that I'm in. I just want to make sure on something. I think I know the number. Ah! Wrong chat. All right, one more number. All right, guys, wait. I need you to find it. Bet and me. Don't, don't start yet. Hi, uh, Cindy. My mom passed this past October. Oh, my goodness. Let me get my phone ready because I need to be there watching. Pinche YouTube, where are you? Let me find me, guys. Let me find me. We got 90 people here still still interested in, in playing YouTube. This, oh, I hate this phone. I do. I hate, I hate this phone. This is a cricket phone. Skip. Skip those messages. All right, guys. I got you guys. I got you. We're on the same level right here, right now. My oldest sister gave me some Maria cookies, and it made me think of my mom and how we used to eat those cookies and drink coffee. Those pinche Marias, they are... Um, No love lost with my parents. Those those Maria cookies and, and, and bringing us back to mom. I understand, Mark. But I want to know what, Cindy, can you please explain this? I know it's late. No love lost with my parents. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't, I don't understand that. Can you tell me what that means? No love lost. Like there was a lot of love there. Is that what you mean? There was a lot of love. Is that what that means, guys? I don't understand. Do you mean that there was so much love there? Jenny, you think that's what it means? You think that's what it means? I don't know. Cindy, can you tell me what this means? I don't think it means that. I think she means that there was so much love there that there wasn't any love lost. My daughter wrote a book, Survived Abuse. When I see no love lost, it's usually bad. Cindy, could you tell me what no love lost means? I'm confused. I would really love to know if there was no love lost. There was so much love. Oh, the Maria cookies. You've never had them. Oh, now they're even better because now they're sweet. Now they made some sweet ones. Mark, I don't know if you've had the sweet ones, but now the Marias are sweet because the Marias that Mark is talking about, those were not sweet. But I know what Mark is talking about. We had no love. Your parents were old school. Your parents were very old school. They were never told that they were loved, so they never told their children that they were loved. My mom never told us when we were growing up, but I know my mom loved me. Is that what you mean? Cindy, your mom was old school because they were never told. They never told their children. Mom told us when we were big. Mark. 
Now I know what you mean. We'll do a show on that después, Cindy. What do you think? Do you want to join me for that? I would love to do a show like that. I did see you say something of that. Five out of five stars on your daughter's book. On her daughter's book. Survived abuse. Cindy, you and I are going to talk, girlfriend. You and I are going to talk. I was never abused. My family, my sisters and I were never abused. But I would love to talk to you just about the love, not about the abuse. Just about the no love because I think, I think it was old school, but we are sorry that that happened to your daughter. I'm so sorry that that happened to your daughter, Cindy. I've done questions and answers in the topic. We'll talk about it. We will talk about that. And you can put, you can put the camera facing a pinche home interior. I don't give two fucks. But we are going to live stream a show, you and I. You and I and whoever wants to join us, we will live stream a show if you agree. And just put the camera facing the pinche home interior. La verga, no pasa nada. But guys, we have one more tombola. Indian Warrior won the other one and the other one. We have one more tombola coming up, guys. There you are, baking soda. Yo, we got you. Yeah, your daughter wrote the book. I know. Your daughter wrote the book. I did see that. All right. Say, Martinez, can you say, I only had, I only, I only had love for my mom. I didn't have a father, just a stepfather. Treated like dirty. Fuck. Pinche vato mierda. You can do that. I would love that. We should do it. We need to get together and find out when you have time. I have time all the time because I don't work. Um. Did anybody hear my burp? We did. We did. We heard your burp. Pinche. Yes, we did. All right. We have one more tombola, guys. Give me a number from one through 50. Let's go. I have I have it here on my live. I have all messages. Let's go. Give me a number from one through 50. I'm going to write the number so that you guys know that I'm not cheating. And we heard the fart <laughs> I'm looking, I'm looking, guys. I'm looking right here. I have not seen the number. I have not seen the number yet. I am looking, I am looking, I am looking. I'm on live chat, and I have not seen the number yet. Nope, todavía no lo miro. Not yet, I have not seen it. I'm on live chat on my phone. I'm on live chat on my phone, guys. Todavía no lo miro, todavía no lo miro. And you guys are going to have to help me because a lot of numbers have already passed. And I haven't seen it. Wow. I saw it. I saw it. Cindy Young was number 29. Who said 29 before Cindy Young? Here's a number, guys. I do not lie. 29. Did anybody say it before Cindy Young? I saw Cindy Young right here. Did anybody say it before her? Can you guys help me out? Did anybody say it before Cindy Young? It was number 29. Everybody stop. Cindy Young said number 29. Did anybody say it before her? I saw Cindy Young, Cindy Young first. Cindy with an S. Cindy. Hi, Jenny. Déjame ver qué dice Cindy Young. Cindy was the first one, right, P.I.? Cindy, ahorita te mando a uh, tombola. The tombola means uh, just a gift that Vanessa... Trevino is gifting us. It's, it's, Cindy got it. Cindy, congratulations. Cindy Ann.
It's a gift that Vanessa, Vanessa Trevino gifted us. And on the first, I will give two tombolas of $20 each. All right? So on the first, I will give two. It's 25 but I have to keep five. That's by law. All right, guys. I will cash up Cindy and Indian Warrior in a little bit. All right. Estuve con ustedes, guys. Thank you for watching our show tonight. We have been almost an hour and a half. Congratulations, Cindy. Congratulations, Indian Warrior. Vago, 67. Remember, the first is right around the, around the corner. <laughs> she said pay it forward. Uh, Jenny 602. Jenny 602 said, I never win. You just won tonight. Send me your cash app to Una Hora Con La Doña. Jenny602 said, I never win. She said, pay it forward. Thank you, Cindy, for playing, and thank you for paying it forward. We will give it just to Jenny602. She did. Uh, Sylvia, Jenny602 said, I never win. What do you mean, no? You said... I'm Jenny said pay it forward. So I'm gonna send me your cash app. I'm gonna forward it to you. I wanna I'm gonna forward it to you. You don't want to send me your cash app? Jenny 602. It is, it is fair because she's giving it forward. But Mark, she's still here. Who? What happened? Yeah, we're not gonna. We're, I'm not putting it up here, Mark. I'm not gonna put it up here. I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm gonna ignore it. Did somebody hide Lupita? No. Are you serious? Somebody hit Lupita? By accident? Jenny, inbox me your cash app, please. Um, so that we can take care of this business. And if somebody was hiding Lupita, it was an accident. Why is Maria Isabel in the pozo? India warrior, Maria Isabel. Oh no, those are my those are my mods. Sorry, those are my mods. Lupe Ramirez is in the pozo. Why? She wasn't. I hate to do this. I'll get her out, Orita, if she went to the pozo. Do you guys think that somebody got Lupita in the pozo by accident? Send me your cash app, Jenny. No pasa nada. She said, accept the blessings. Yes. All right. No drama. We're not paying attention to the drama. All right, guys. Thank you, Mark, though, for paying attention to that. But I'm not going to pay attention to it. I understand. She's not in the pozo. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. She's not in the pozo. All right, guys, no drama, no drama, no drama. Thank you, Mark, for paying close attention to that. Uh, whoever this uh, Miss Baking Soda is, we're not going to go along with the flow. We don't want drama, but if somebody wants to read it, read it. Good night, everybody. I love you guys. Guys, tomorrow is Easter. Cuídense. Please do not drink and drive. Hagan el bien y no se fijen en, en quién. Hagan el bien. No pasa nada. Just be good. No pasa nada. I love you guys. Acuérdense. No es lo mismo tu hermana en el jardín del Edén a que le den a tu pinche hermano en el jardín. All right? Ahí nos vemos. Good night.